What is up, YouTube? And welcome to another episode of something. Don't know exactly what this is called, but it is not a tech like review, anything like that. If you've come here for like tech, tech stuff that's like super techie, this is not the place. I'm just gonna walk you through how I do my file management, how I have storage, what I use during and after weddings, and all of that stuff. So let's start the show. All right, so uh, a couple of things. First thing first, I think backups are necessary. So uh, my friend, a good friend of mine, Binge Heish, he just did a video on his storage, uh, and he talks a lot more about what he does different than how I do it. Uh, we both do similar things, but you might want to go check out his video. Uh, maybe it's going to be right here. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's like a little bar up at the top. But uh, go check out his video. His is pretty exhaustive, exhaustive. But uh, it, he just, he knows his stuff. He kills it. He backs up all the, a lot of, a lot of ways more than I do. But I still back mine up, and I feel comfortable with mine. So I'm just going to walk you guys through how I do that. Um, so the majority majority of the time. So what I do is I do uh, same day reception slideshows. Uh, so that helps me to back up my files at a wedding. So if you want to see that video on how I do that, you can actually check that out here because there is a video uh, of me doing the same day reception slideshow and how to do that on the channel. Um, and one thing that I love to do is I have this Lexar 4Bay USB 3.0 reader. This is huge because this allows me to ingest multiple cards at once and it's super quick. Don't get the 2.0, get the 4.0, 3.0, not 4.0, 3.0. It's down in uh, my comments if you want to check that out. But um, super awesome because even if you have SD and XD or SD and CF cards, anything like that, you can choose different types, um, which is really, really awesome. So I love doing that. This helps at weddings for me to be able to do that same day reception slideshow and to be able to just fire through it really, really quickly. So that's like a no brainer for me. I love having that. Uh, I usually carry my cards around on one of these things. I tried like the hard case that Binge has if you watch his video or some people have those hard cases. But uh, for me, what happened was like when I was using like these cheaper memory cards, but like there, you could see that it actually bent, bent the card because like I would bring it back from the top uh, and it would just break the cards. So I would rather have this. I use one like this. I have a couple of these. Uh, and what I do make sure I do is whenever I use one, I will actually not put it back in here. I'll put it into a different one. So I make sure I don't reuse a card. Uh, you can see these are face forward, which means that I haven't used these. Whenever I use them, I will make sure that I change them to going face facing uh, backwards like this. So then now they are in there uh, and facing in a different direction. Uh, and that's just really important for me so I don't pull out a card and then start shooting on it at a wedding when I've already, like when it's either full or I've already ingested it. And so uh, keep them face forward or move them face back. Like that's just very simple, but really, really important, uh, especially at a wedding. Super important. I like to make sure that I have dual sl card slots in my cameras. So these new Sony A7Threes, they're actually not new, but they are awesome because they have the dual slots. One, one of the reasons why I think backups are so, so important is because I've actually like literally was doing a destination wedding and I was at the airport. Memory cards fell out of my pocket at the airport, lost all the memory cards that I had not ingested yet after that wedding because I was lazy but the good thing is I have 128 gigs uh, in the top in the slot two and I do it uh, I do it as duplicates so I don't do it in like a sequence where once card one gets full it starts doing it on card two like no uh, I have it as a like a duplicate backup on my second one and it's a 128 gig so I generally don't fill that up I have filled up a 128 gig uh, because I just shoot a lot of photographs but I, I lost those cards but the good thing was I still had the 128 gig in my camera and all of those files and photographs were still on there so I didn't lose any of their photos which is awesome. So you want to make sure that you have a good backup. You have two slots. I generally put the 128 gig and then I'll, I'll go between like 64 or 32 just depending on the part of the day. I know since I do a same day slideshow I will shoot the 64 on the first part of the day uh, and then I'll use like a smaller cards like 16 or 32 after I ingest uh, during the 
during the reception because sometimes I come back in for like first dances or stuff like that and then there's I don't want to waste a huge card on just a couple of photographs so I have that smaller card in between and then I jump back to a bigger card for the reception so I like to make sure that I have that backup card in there uh, and then if I am doing a destination wedding I use this Western Digital My Passport uh, Wireless Pro the great thing about this is I can go ahead and like when I turn it on so like, let's say I turn it on, you can see that light blinking up here. What I will actually do is straight put the SD card right in here. And the great thing is this can also connect to my phone so I can see the folder it goes into and all of that, but it will actually go ahead and start ingesting from this card for me, which is great. So I can take that 128 gig, just pop that in there, uh, and then take my other 128 gig, pop that in there too, and then those are good to go. So I would suggest getting this, especially if you travel a lot for weddings or shoot multiple weddings on a weekend in different cities, anything like that. This, My, uh, this Western Digital My Passport Wireless Pro is awesome. I also have you know, the Lacey Rugged, I think that's what it's called, Lacey Rugged, four terabyte here. And then I also have these Western Digital, really easy. I think these are like my passport, two terabytes, uh, which are great. So I will use these. And I also have, oh gosh, what's it called? Whoop. There goes the Sony, but I caught it in my lap. Quickness. Um, I also use, let me look up this program for you. I can't exactly remember what it's called. Carbon Copy Cloner. So I will actually plug those, but plug two hard drives into my computer and it will active, actually uh, redundantly back it up onto another hard drive so that uh, it just, so then I have that extra hard drive space because here's the thing guys, you don't want to lose the most important memories somebody has like in the world. So you want to make sure that you have uh, backups of everything. Make sure that you are backing up uh, those even while you're out and even when you come back home. So also make sure that you back up your gear too. like have multiple gears. I shoot uh, with the, the money makers and I shoot two at a time, but then I also have a backup Fuji in my bag with an extra lens. I have backup flashes. I have all of those things just to make sure like you never know if it rains and it ruins your camera or if you drop a camera or things like that. You want to make sure you have backups because like you don't want to be unprepared and then when it hits the fan, like then you're out of luck. And so you want to make sure that you guys are ready for anything that comes about. And so having that extra gear is super, super important. So I make sure I do that extra gear, extra flashes. Uh, and uh, I mean, I don't have extra lenses, but uh, I have multiple lenses, which is good. So in case I drop one, which I've done and I've shattered, I've shattered uh, the Canon $2,000 Canon 85 1.2 glass all over reception floor before, but it's okay because I had all uh, different types of um, lenses to go with that. So uh, I have these multiple hard drives. And then what I do is I also have uh, the Drobo RAID system here, which if I don't know if you can see through here, um, but it has multiple, I use four terabyte, I have five, four terabyte hard drives. So it's about 20 terabytes. Uh, I know other people have more, but that's all the space I need right now because I'll show you what I do to ensure I don't need too much space, but I still have backup. Um, this right here is a Drobo Mini. I probably um, if you want to start with something like this, because this gets pretty expensive, sure. I actually don't know if they even make these anymore. I would not suggest getting this if you could just go ahead and get this. I got this, and I used to travel with this like an idiot, and then now one of these hard drives is stuck in there. Won't come out. Um, I, I was really, really upset because I uh, had this in an over... No, I think I actually checked this on my carry-on. And everything you weren't supposed to do, I did. Check this on my carry-on. It broke. I tried to tried to email American Airlines and they were like, you're out of luck, that's on you. So um, I still was able to get the files and stuff off of this, but it just broke and I never used it again. But I had, um, but I used to take this with me everywhere. Like when I was a teacher, I used to take this to my classroom and edit from this in my classroom uh, because I needed the files that were on here. So I, I was a little reckless with it, but I don't really take this Drobo anywhere. Um, I'm gonna, let's go ahead and let's dive in because I'm gonna show you how I organize all of my photographs uh, from within this Drobo. As we come in here to the Drobo, we can see that I have it organized. Uh, I have all types of stuff in here, so I don't just have my wedding stuff in here, but I have anything that I want kind of backed up. Uh, so I have uh, like my wedding photos, all those things, but I have Anchor and Veil Photography, and then I have different parts of Anchor and Veil Photography, what we do, weddings, pictures, and then I have it broken down into years. And so the years are you know exactly what they are, and as I talked about, uh, before or actually yeah as I talked about before I would delete the cold or the ingested files that I no longer like so from over a year uh, ago because I have them all on here so 
As we look in 2017, like, for example, I have files in here, and Tyson and Trip or something, and then I can go in here to wedding, and just the cold ones are in here. But this is all the files, you know, like not the all the ones that I gave them, but this is all the files that I thought that I liked the most out of that wedding. And so those are still in there, but if I were to go to 2018, so even this past year, and go in here and still look, I will still have these ingested and cold files in them so uh, now they are also on here 2018 but I like to give it a little bit more time just in case somebody ever comes back and they're like hey do you happen to have this photo generally that doesn't happen but uh, I like to have it on both for now um, because also what I do have is backblaze so now my whole Drobo some people will say they back up their whole computer I don't do that I back up my Drobo only into Backblaze. I'm sure I can, I, I probably should do my computer, but I, I don't really care that much. I want to make sure the Drobo is in Backblaze. And I've used Backblaze and Crash Plan, and I like Backblaze a lot more because I've got like 14 terabytes and they don't throttle my speed. I have giga internet. So if I'm downloading at, you know, a thousand megs, which doesn't always happen, and if I'm uploading at like six, seven, eight, nine hundred megs, I want to be able to do that. Whereas, um, crash plan has throttled it to where it was uploading at five megabytes a second, which is terrible. So bad when you're trying to do terabytes. And so it took, you know, a year. I literally had it for a year and maybe it only uploaded four terabytes. And so then I switched over and it took a week to upload my 14 terabytes that I had at the time in Backblaze. So way better. Now that allows me to go in anytime from anywhere from any computer and that's actually cold storage. So that's not called, that's not hot storage. Like something like Dropbox is like hot storage, something that I can use often. Uh, Backblaze is like a cold storage where uh, I would just go in every so often. I can't edit from it. I can't do anything like that. Now, the one bad thing I don't like about Backblaze is that it will, uh, if I delete a photo from here, if I delete anything from here, it will also delete it from Backblaze. So I just got to make sure that I know that and that I'm aware of that so that I can kind of make sure that things are really well taken care of regardless. So I make sure that's like that and that's taken care of. Uh, so I use Backblaze, uh, and this is how I organize within my 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 Dropbox. I mean, and within my um, my Drobo, and you can see I've got the JPEGs in here and all of that stuff. So it's really awesome, and all that stuff is up in Backblaze. Another thing that I think is really important that I love to do is I have uh, Lightroom. Uh, in my Lightroom, I have Lightroom catalogs. Like every single client has a different Lightroom catalog, and if you're not familiar with Lightroom catalog, so if you're on here you might have in your collections your different clients. That means you have one large catalog and then uh, you have different clients within that catalog. I specifically have different catalogs for each client. So you can see this, this one literally only has, so it has the photos that I will send to my editor uh, and then it has my bridals, engagements, all that stuff, and then weddings. And so this is this one client's just their engagement, just their wedding, uh, and then you can see it's broken down into slideshows and all of these things here. And I keep all of these in Dropbox. So I'll show you what that looks like. So if I were to go into Dropbox here, I'd go to my photography, Lightroom, catalogs, and you can see that I have all of my clients here. Now this is just from 2017, 18, and then now uh, I actually archived the catalogs for my clients before that so they didn't take up a whole lot more space in Dropbox. But I pay like $100 a year for a terabyte in Dropbox, which is amazing. So um, have this in here, and what I make sure I turn on when I ingest my files is smart previews. And the reason I do that is because from Lightroom, I can now, without literally taking any files with me, I can go to any computer in the world, download my Lightroom catalog with the smart previews and edit on that computer and not have to have my files, anything like that. Now, if I just take my computer, I can edit it from anywhere in the world, which is amazing and super helpful for me. So now they are they are like 3,000 by 3,000. So they're, they're low resolution. You can't print them. They're low resolution previews, and I think they're only like four megapixels. So they're not something that I would deliver to a client, but they're something that I would edit on the go. And it's also another source of backup. So just in case, God forbid, anything were to happen at all, I can at least still give them their wedding photos from those Lightroom previews. So you'll see that I actually have... Um, these files in here and then you'll see it has these Lightroom previews or anything like that So it's really awesome where I can come in here and I can see here's the here's the catalog and then here's the previews uh, And it only takes about 800 megabytes for you know, whatever I have so far on here And so it's a really really cool way to be able to have that backed up and then also be able to edit from anywhere in the world And then also just keep it really organized So what that looks like essentially is I will come in here and I will 
I get a new client, I will say, you know, test two. I will come up and I will take, I because I have a default one here, I will copy and paste that, put that in test two, and then I will rename this test two. And then you can see when it opens up in here, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, and then from in here, it will actually have all of those things defaulted. So it's super easy uh, to do, uh, just really just create a new, uh, a new one, and that's kind of just what I did, and it makes it simple, so you'll see it defaults and has these already within it, which is nice. So I don't have to worry about that at all. It's already pre-programmed pre to be in there. So those are super simple, easy ways. I also use this, this app called Carbon Copy Cloner, uh, which is cool. Uh, so you can see that I just re-downloaded re it. But what that does is I will plug in multiple hard drives and it will actually create a, a copy of that hard drive or just that specific whatever file, folder, whatever, onto another one. And it makes it really simple so that I don't have to even think about it really, but now I have multiple backups. So backups, 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 guys, are super important. From there, uh, this is what it looks like. So I have my gallery for my clients. I use PickTime, uh, and this is a great way. As soon as I finish, I put them in here. And what I will also do, this is important, I will also use JPEG Mini. JPEG Mini is a really, really awesome way to compress your files and not have to worry about uh, losing quality. So I've seen, you know, 15 megabyte files go down to three megabyte files and not lose quality at all. Like I've seen three megabyte next to the 15 megabyte blown up into 30 inch print and you can't tell a difference at all. So I would spend the $100 and use JPEG Mini. On this computer alone, I've saved 205 gigs. So if you use something like Shootproof, that is a online backup for your, your JPEGs and your clients and they go by file size, this is amazing for you. This will save you a ton of money. So uh, make sure that you guys are using all those things. There will be links in the show notes. Uh, they are amazing. I hope this is helpful for you guys. If you need anything, don't hesitate to let me know. I'm here for you. So if you like this, mash that like button because bam, back up for life, yo. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you are backing up. Make sure that you are taking care of your clients, making sure you're taking care of your uh, just well-being and your mind, just knowing that these things are all backed up and you know exactly where they are. And make sure you like and subscribe uh, to keep up because we're going to keep y'all updated with some balling videos. All right, y'all have a great day and uh, I'll talk to you later.